back to Beat That Backlog. We are finishing up the final world of Super Meat Boy. With me here is Andrew, who will be here for more of I'm guessing I can go down here right now, then. Oh, shit. Ooh, not so bad. Yep, I remember this one. Oh, shit. No. Whoa! Oh. Doing pretty good so far. That's it. Yep. Like, like right, like right like, there. Right, yeah. right about there, yeah. That's not, so, not so bad. It's a straight drop down. Oh, no. Oh, what's over here real quick? Yeah. Oh. I get it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to... Come back. Come back all the way around back after that. Yeah, man. So when is uh, when is the eugenics supposed to be slated to be kind of to come out? I think this year. This year? Yep. How long has that been in development, anyway? Uh, not all that long because uh, Ed McMullen spent a lot of time on like uh, on Isaac, and then uh, uh, Tommy or Dennis, I think, just kind of enjoyed getting his family out of poverty. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wait, is that se are you serious? Uh, I mean, you know, this is going from whatever I recollect, and I didn't really put, like, a whole lot of research into it, but yeah, I believe that's what it was. What do you, what do you mean by poverty? What happened? Oh, I don't know. It was just, like, his family never really seemed to have money or something, and then all of a sudden he... He had a lot of money. He uh, had a lot of money because he made Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. it seems to be what I remember. It could all be wrong. Do not take that word as gospel. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's just an interesting thing that you say that, but, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, we gotta watch Indie Game the movie again now that we're, now that we're I'm close to beating this, or we're... Yeah, we sure. Are, we are. I feel it. But, I. Uh... Matter of fact, I believe, um, Tommy actually had to clean up, uh... No shit. Isaac's oh. code base. Because, uh, the other guy... Apparently, couldn't really get action script in Flash to do a lot of what he wanted it to do. Really? So it ended up being like a really messy code job, and then Tommy had to come up and come in and clean it up. Oh, now which guy did they bring in for that? That's what I'm saying. Tommy from from Team Meat had to come in and clean up uh, Binding of Isaac, if I understand it. Oh, oh, because that wasn't that was Ed McMullen's stuff. Yeah, and Ed McMullen is an artist, not a programmer. Although he did do some action script, it was my understanding. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so. Uh, he worked with Florian Himsel on a lot of his uh, uh, new ground stuff. Yeah. And then he did Isaac with that um, with that guy, right? Yeah. And uh, the idea was to get that game done in three months. And they did that, and they kept on adding stuff afterward, and that led to the expansion. Now there's Isaac Rebirth, which I believe is mostly outsourced to like somebody else, <laughs> uh, but still sounds pretty kick-ass, and I probably will get it myself. Okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. Got you. Mm -hmm. Got you. Not bad. Uh, you might have to wall jump over to the left. Yeah, for sure. Off of what you're standing on right now. The, uh, well, I'm gonna have to drop down, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> no! Fuck <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Ah, oh, man. This game, this, this level is interesting going forward and back. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yep, you got it. Don't take much longer now. Yeah. Two hours later. I remember back in 2014 when we first started this level. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the game that never ends. I made up there before. Right? Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. It's interesting because there's a lot of ways to beat this level, actually. Mm-hmm. And oh, okay, not bad. Okay, got it. Oh <laughs> my god. It's just just forgetting to press that A button. You know what game is actually exceptionally hard? <laughs> like this level of difficulty? The very Mission first... three of Ghost Recon. Yes, that that is actually exceptionally hard. I mean Ghost Recon itself. Yep. And actually I think the reason we're having such trouble on Ghost Recon right now is because I'm fairly sure these levels that we're playing through right now are meant to be played with multiple computers. Like we're trying, we were trying to beat it before. 
We were trying to beat it before with just us, but it's like we need to admit that we need help on those missions, you know? Mm -hmm. Every time I look at all this stuff that's, uh, that, uh, what do you call it, uh, Super Meat Boy is dragging behind him, all I can think of is it's barbecue sauce. And I get really hungry when I play this game. That's, uh, it's a little weird. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, though, it's like, I can't be eating for a while, maybe. Even though he's just a, a boy without skin, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sick, dude. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm not comfortable in this room anymore. Yeah, well, you don't want to hear my thoughts about eugenics. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a Chinese food simulator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that game... So what is it, like, who comes with, up with the ideas? Because it just seems like they come up with such grisly, like, macabre ideas. Like, Well, uh, so they're both cat people, you know? Okay. Like, they're dog people and cat people. Both of those guys are cat people. Okay. And I heard in an interview one time, they were like, Yeah, you know, we both decided that the next game would be about cats because we both love our cats. Okay. Oh, because they both love their cats. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So it's really... I don't know, that's about the extent of it, I think. And then after that, they're like, how can we make a game about cats? And, and they're like, wait a minute, you know what's a great name? Eugenics. And that's all they that they came up with the game based on the name? I have no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm just extrapolating from that. I do know that they said, hey, we love cats and we want to make a game about cats. Okay. Okay. The rest is just guesswork. I gotta, oh, you gotta go up to the left, then jump to the right. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Are you serious? I, I'm not even doing it. I can't wait until this game is done and over with. Oh, I love this game. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It's like one of those games that, like... It's like all the best parts of like old school platformers without any of the crap that like where they forgot that they're not arcade games. I guess so, yeah. You know, it's like this thing doesn't like stop and ask you for more quarters and it's like, but wait a minute, this is on your home video game system, like you don't need Yeah. You know? Okay. It's like nervous. That was like the biggest problem all the way through like the SNES Genesis era uh, era of video games was they all kind of forgot that they're not arcade games. Actually, you know what? Uh, you know what game is also incredibly frustrating? That's sort of like this game, Battletoads. Uh, well, okay. So this game I don't find frustrating. Battletoads, I would. I mean, I guess Battletoads is not so much frustrating as it is like. It's just so unfair. I don't even want to play it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. I would say unfair is the best word for it. Because... Yeah, this game seems totally fair, and also it's not really all that frustrating because I can restart immediately. Oh. Let that ride a little too long. I know. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, the, what the other uh, platform game that's actually very frustrating is uh, Crash Bandicoot, the very first one. I don't you know, know I... yeah, and I, I played that one briefly because my brother had it on PS Plus. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, I just didn't really get into it, uh, particularly because, yeah, it's like, it was just kind of frustrating. Yeah, and you know what's funny is the one that everybody remembers is probably the second one. Uh, yeah, I didn't play that one. I only played a little bit of the first one, and that was it. Call of the day. The second one was a great one, though. The second one was a great game. And I got an A wow. plus on that. Yeah, Jesus. I'm a little surprised at that. It that is like incredible. It took a grand old time. Yeah. Well, I was, yeah, I wasn't even trying to get an A plus on that, but 44 seconds. 